Hello and welcome to Bar. This is a mixture of ballet, Pilates and other fitness elements and it's going to work best today if you are in socks or in bare feet. And today for extra props, if you have them, we will be using one small hand weight. It doesn't need to actually be a hand weight, just something with a little bit of weight to it that you can grip easily. Uh, one of those and a nice big plump cushion if you have a stability ball that will work just as well if you don't have one of those then one of these nice and plump for what we're going to be using it for pop back to the side we'll get onto that when we move into our core work towards the end of the session but we're going to start away from our bar so i'm using the back of the chair today and sometimes going to be using just the wall uh, you might be using the edge of a table mantelpiece whatever you've got absolutely fine but we're going to start stepping away from it into a bit of space and just warming up through the body first of all so we are going to take feet underneath the sit bones and lengthening up through the legs lifting through the top of the head take a nice wide breath in let that release we're going to roll the shoulders up and back and bend the knees at the same time. So we're tracking little parallel pliés with our shoulder rolls. Let's take the shoulders back the other way, up and over, back, up, forwards and down. Start to the deep and breathing down into the lungs, rolling back again. Just for two, we're gonna roll it forwards for two, up and over, nice and spongy through the knees, one each way, four times, up and back, up and forward. Lifting through the top of the head, round it back, take it forwards. We're going to release the shoulders, take a little raise of the heel. Switching feet every time, trying not to shift too much through the body. Just thinking parallel through the knee and the foot. Ankle moving straight forwards, little press through the instep of the foot. Starting to wrap the boots around underneath so that we are prepared to take the whole foot away from the floor. Little peel off supported on that one foot. Walking is just a series of standing on one leg. Let's get that balance nice and prepped. Keeping that going, we're going to start to pick up the pace a little bit on that. And if we can, we're just going to lift it slightly higher. I'm going to take a big reach up through both arms. Long on both sides of the body and move back so you can see. We're going to just circle the wrists down. Bring the arms about and back to the side. We'll take that once again, reaching up. And circle it down. We're going to move that slightly out to the sides. And make it a little slower and spongier again. So we're peeling through the foot once again. A little bit of a side bend as we go. We're going to start to take an elbow back up and over. So the elbow of the leg that you're stepping to. Swimming back, a bit of 80s jazzercise vibes going on now. Then we're going to take that elbow up and forward off the padding foot. Up and forward. If you've got space, do that with an extended arm. So swim backwards, up and round. And then we're going to swim forward. And then we're going to close that in. We're going to take a nice big reach for the sky. Press the air away as you start to roll down through the spine. Bend the knees as you go. Curve it over. Have a little hang there for a moment and swim around. Swing through the hips. Let the head be heavy. Let that relax. Take a little shake there. Take a little nod. And then we're going to press through the feet as we slowly unroll through the spine, lengthening the legs as we go. We are going to take that to our bar. So just stepping up to your bar into a second position. So rotating from the top of the leg, we're going to be taking our plie. So the knee is going to be tracking out over the center of the foot. Pelvis just sinking straight down and pressing straight back up again. There'll be a few different speeds of plie. I will talk you through that when we get there, some pulses. Let's give it a go. So two hands onto your bar. Feet not too far past shoulder hip distance apart. Nice pointed feeling through the feet. We're going to take a slow plie down for two and a slow stretch up for two. So we're just dropping the weight in space for two and lengthening up. Let's speed that up. We've got four in one count. So down for one and up for one. Two more of those. We're going to take some little pulses down there. Here we go. So we've got an eight and a seven. Just thinking about spongy knees, reaching over the center of the foot every time. We're going to hold that down in a pulse. Take a big circle around of the arm. Take it back again. Can have a little bit of body movement through that as well. 
long. Stretch out through the legs. Let's repeat. For two and stretch your way. For two. Really smooth. No dropping into that leg. Then we speed it up for four. And for three. Pelvis just dropping straight down in space. Last round of those. Glutes wrapping. We've got little pulses down. Start to think about the lift between the sit bones, the pelvic floor engagement, lifting from underneath. TVA wrapping around. And as we take a big wide circle through the arm, take it back again, reach around. Lengthen through the legs, let's take it again. Down for two. Up for two. That's a one for that. Let's just do four of those. <laughs> then we're going to slow it down. We're going to go down for two. And down for two. Press away. For two. One more time. You know what's coming next. It's those pulses. We're staying down. If you wanted to, you could take the arms out into a first position. Just test the balance there. Pressure through all the toes. And then a big circle around. Take it back again. Feel the movement through the body. Press the legs. It's one more time. Let's repeat in the same fashion. So we're going to four on slightly faster ones. Get those legs moving. Keep wrapping around those rotator muscles from the top of the legs. Slow it down. Good two. Take it off. Good two. A good cat friend. Hello, little cat friend. You may appear at the window. It's going to go. Theo, hello. Who's coming? Sorry, just distracted by the cat. It's not my cat. Someone else's cat. Lifting through the top of the head. We're going to hold that down. Hold and reach the other way. Here he is. Cat friend. Hello, cat friend. Take it up and over and stretch the legs. See if you can take a rise onto two feet, long through both sides of the body, float one arm to the uh, to a first position, float the other arm. Now the heels don't have to be super high, just a place that you can sustain. See if you can open the arms and lower down through the heels. Lovely stuff. Take the hands back to the bar, close the legs back into a first position. So stay in that rotated, turned out place. We're going to take a bit of hip rotation, hip movement. So we're going to bring one foot up to the toes. They're not pressing down, they're just slightly touching into the floor. And we're going to rotate from the top of the leg, inwards and out. We're going to do four on this side, and then we are going to do four on the other side. So open, replace, and in and out. TBA wrapping gently around the waist, corset muscles wrapping into the belly button. We'll take it again with a little bit more of a drag through the foot. So I'm just dragging my toes, again it's still really light. I'm really just standing on this one leg over here. Other side, in and out. A little swoosh across the floor with that foot. We're going to add a plie to that, back to the first foot, plie and stretch. So this leg just doing exactly as it was before, knee over the centre of the foot, and we'll take it out to the other side. So always tracking that same line of turnout, length on both sides of the body. It's going to come just off the floor, in, take away. So this is coming to a full extended leg of the foot now, and it's just off the floor, a little noodly leg, same on the other side. We're going to take that into some tongues. We're going to move back to that first leg. We're going to have eight tongues. It's going to be one and two. So closing on the count, closing on the count, four to go. Lengthening up through the center, change to the other side. It's in, it's three, it's four, four more. Under side of the foot, stroking along the ground. We'll take it down to four, sorry, four and three and two. Changing sides and it's a four. Got the glutes wrapping around to hold that turn out. On two, it's one and two. On two, four on one. It's a one, it's a one, it's a one, it's a one. Release, then release. We are going to repeat that either at the bar or stepping away from the bar. We're going to have an arm circle. So for whatever, however many tongues you are doing with the same foot is the number of counts you get to circle your arm. Uh, we're going to be circling, let's go outwards and in. So we're going to go, actually I want to think of this going down and up and out. So let's just drop down and up and out. So if we're at the bar, we're just going to drop the hand away to a bra bar to a fifth and round. So in high circle, wide D shape around. 
if you are stepping away from your bar, we will be taking the arms out to a second position. So they're going to cut the edge of the circle and make that shape from there. So still the whole D shape coming around. Still keeping eight, eight, four, four, two, two, one, 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 one. Try your best. Give it a go. We're going to wrap the legs around, open the arms out, or hold on to our bar. Here we go. Closing in. Four, eight, seven, six. It's not too fast. Keep that arm moving at the same time as the leg. Coordination. Other side. Eight and seven. Lift it over the foot. We're going to take it down to fours. Here we go. Arm has to be a little quicker. Two and three and four. Try and get the top of the circle by the end of two into twos, nice and fast through the arm, nice and fast through the arm, on ones, it's a one, it's a one, keep it moving, keep it moving, take a bend, shake it off, we'll do that one more time, let's start with the other foot, take the arms open, here we go, it's an eight and seven, upper arms lifted and curved, so we don't want that arm to sink, keep it lifted and rounded, same on the other side, nice and soft through the hand, Rushing through the foot, keep lengthening the spine upwards into fours. Four, three, two, changing sides. So the arm is up by the two. Here we go. Half that. One and two. And one and two. It's on one. Go for gold. See what happens. I feel a little bit like an octopus with an extra arm on the end. Bend the knees and shake it off. Have a little squeaky spine. You know, it's my favourite thing to do. Just a little bounce around to the music. I'm going to check my foot. We're coming into our body. So coming back into the space, placing the feet back underneath the sit bones. You could do this at your bar. Two hands on. It's going to be a body movement from the total bar series. I'm going to switch it up a little bit by alternating sides each time. So it's going to start, for example, with a reach across and a pull back through the elbow. We're going to do that twice slow and four times fast on the first side and then again twice slow and four times fast on the second side. So it involves body rotation, some body curve, upper spine curve and slight extension. So a little bit of movement through the chest, not really any movement through the hips or the legs. So slight softness in the knees, feet under the sit bones. Let's start with a little bit of extension through the chest, lifting up and release. One more, breathe in and raise the breastbone. Take a little curve forwards, you can bend the knees at the same time. Press the feet and the legs away. And again, this could be on your bar. We're gonna start by reaching one arm across. It's gonna reach nice and slow for two. And it's gonna pull back through the elbow for two. And a reach for two and pull it back. For two, four faster, one, and a two. Belly button facing directly to the front. Sternum getting to rotate. Change sides, so reaching smooth with the arm. Pull back with the elbow. We're going to allow the gaze to travel as well, so you can follow the fingertips, looking out past the arm. Take that four times faster. And two. Keep breathing. Try and keep the pelvis still so we get the use of those obliques. We're going to add in a reach away through the arm. So actually let's stay upright here and reach away through the arm. So just make sure you've got space around you, really get that full extension on that diagonal line. So we're not trying to reach behind me so much as opening on a rotation. Same thing again, reach across, open on that rotation. Take it back, slow, pick up the pace. Four. And a three. Squared off through the hips, lifting through the top of the head. We'll take that curve now. So we're going to round the spine and lift it up and over. You can take this with bent knees if you prefer. And up and away. Four times faster. You can take a plie on everyone. Or it could just be in the upper body. We're going to change sides. Here we go. So we curve up and over small and we open away. Once again at that speed, softness in the knees, glutes wrapping underneath, remember you could create if you wanted to. We're going to take that into our final set, which is a side bend. Here we go, one up and over nice and slow, again that could be with a plie. Two legs tracking directly forwards, 
and then four times fast. So plie or not, we're staying lifted up and over. Keep reaching upwards, two long sides of the body. Final side, reach across and two, and take it back for two. Once more, rinse up and over, two, and take it back for two. Four faster, four, and a three. Keep breathing, two. Last time, on one. Lovely, reach the hands up for the sky, breathe in. We're gonna take another roll down. So allow the arms to release, pull the weight forward, bend the knees as you go. Curving over in the legs, take a little hang there. If the hands reach the floor, that's great. If not, just let them hang up and rest. Gentle look side to side, maybe a gentle nod. If it's appropriate to you, maybe having a little stretch of the legs, as far as is comfortable to go. Should feel like a nice big yawning stretch. And then we are going to bend the knees to unroll through the spine and re-step back up again, coming all the way back up to our neutral standing position. Well done. Let me check with that. I think we're onto our side plank. We are moving to a wall. Um, I'm using a wall because this is not really the right height for me to go into a side plank. It's sort of doable, but I'm really gripping. This all feels very precarious. I'm a little bit challenged too far with the balance. It's not the one, a wall, forearm onto the wall, and move it back just a touch. And here we go, I actually feel nice and secure here. I can feel the underside of my body working to hold me in that position, um, but nothing's gripping to stay there. Um, you might be on a mantelpiece, you might be on a table, as long as you're not gonna slip with the arm, but really a wall is gonna be the best option if you've got a bit of wall space available. Um, so we're coming into a lovely side plank. We're going to place the other arm onto the side of the body. We're going to take some movements through the outside of the leg. So we're going to raise the heel and point, no, let's point the toes and then reach away. So we're going to point the toes on the way out, flex the foot and draw the leg back in. It does not have to be high, but it is reaching away. We'll do a series of those and then we'll do a series of little pulses out and then we'll do a series of circles and a series of circles back the other way and then we'll change to the other side. So finding your long plank position, nose down to toes, one long line, hands to the side of the waist, open through the collarbones. We're going to start with this outside leg, reach away, on five, on five, six, here we go. We point, we flex, we point, we flex. So I'm just lightly brushing the floor with the ball of my foot there, ball of the foot and toes. And then it's flexing as it comes back in to reach the other one. Keep thinking of that heel reaching away as you come down. We're going to take little pulses out, pulse, and two, and three. Let's go for eight. So you've got four more. Keep staying long in that underside of the body. Eight circles. Let's take it back. They're fairly swift. Keep reaching up through the top of the head on that diagonal line. We're going to take that back again. Try not to swing through the pelvis. Keep lengthening two sides of the body. You've just got two to go. And draw that leg in. Take it up to the knee. Rotate outwards. If it's appropriate, extend the leg. Bring it back in. Rotate back. We're going to release the leg. We're going to step ourselves away. Release that arm. We're going to take it around to the other side. I'm going to skip the music back so that we've got time to do that again. Placing the forearm onto your wall or whatever you are using for a bar. I hope you can see nice and wide across the collarbones here. I don't want to be rounding into the back. I want to be lengthening. I think about my lats drawing down the spine to keep me nice and secure in this position. We're going to take the same thing again. So we've got eight pointed foot, flex foot. Here we go. Inside thighs, gentle squeeze before we take the leg away. On a one and a two. So I'm thinking of that little inside thigh squeeze as the legs come back together. I'm thinking of reaching the toes away, heel away. I'm not thinking of lifting the leg. I'm just thinking of reaching it away from me. We're going to take little pulses now. Here we go. A eight, a seven. And they can tap the floor. They can stay lifted. As long as we're feeling it into the side of the leg and not into the swinging pelvis. The pelvis wants to stay nice and still. We've got circles going back. For eight. Keep lengthening on that diagonal. Try not to screw the head over. Try and keep that really long. We're going to go back the other way. Breathing deep into the sides and back of the lungs. Three and two and one and draw that leg in up to a tier eight parallel. 
Turn it out. Wide collarbones, wide chest. Extend if it's appropriate. Draw it back in. Take it back again. Release it down. And release the legs. Shake them off. We're going to be doing a little bit more side leg just a bit later. Bumping off on our side leg today. Why not? We're going to take a break in between while we do a little bit of work with this lovely one. This is going to be from a standing position. Standing just with the feet right underneath the sit bones. So a little space between the feet, probably about the width distance of one hand between your feet. We're going to be taking two arms front and doing a series of movements with the weight on one side before we pass it to the other and repeat the same thing again. So choose a hand. If I were you, I would choose your less dominant hand. I am right-handed. I write with my right hand, I pick up the kettle with my right hand, so I'm going to start with my left because I know my right's going to be stronger. So I'll leave that one a little bit later and I'll start with the less dominant one. And we are going to be bringing both arms out in front of us, lifting through the top of the head. We're just going to be opening the weight to the side to start, just five times. You've got open for two, draw it back for two. Nice and simple. Trying to keep the chest looking directly forwards. Make sure that weight doesn't pass out of your field of vision. Keep it directly in your line of sight as you're looking forwards. Last one out to the side. Bring it back, pass it across. Same thing the other way. On five, six, and here we go. Open for two. Anna, bring it back for two. Anna, open for two. You know where we're going. You've got three more. Try and keep both shoulders evenly facing towards the front. Wrapping the glutes around underneath. Try not to sway through the body. That's the last one. We're going to take it back. We're going to pass it back to the first hand and add a body rotation. So we're going to pull the elbow back and rotate the chest. Draw it back again. So my pelvis still trying to stay to the front. The elbow just pulling back. Similar to what we were doing in that body movement work earlier on. We've got one more to go. Keep each of the opposite arm forward. Bring it back. Switch it across. Same thing on the other side. On five and six and seven and eight. We pull off the two. And you reach the two. So the elbow pulls you back. The sternum rotates. The chin tries to stay in line with the sternum. So you don't have to look all the way back towards that elbow. Just open the gaze out to the ring. One more time to serve. Draw it back. Bring that weight in. We're going to take some squats to break up these arm movements. I'm going to shift it just a little more open to the outside of my hips. And I'm going to take some little squats in that position, dropping down through the sit bones. So down for two, and up for two. Don't worry, they'll get faster. It's starting off nice and slow to begin. One more at that speed. We're going to take that twice as fast going down and up. If you don't like that speed, take it back to the previous one. Absolutely fine. You've got four fast or two slow left. Here we go from five and six, seven and eight. Come back to the front. We're going to take that weight out again, but it's going to come straight out to the side. We're going to turn the palm down. Got some little circles around. Circling. Two and three. Let's go eight either way. Trying to keep that arm at the same height. Take it back. So very small circle, you can see that whole circle at the corner of my eye. We're going to bring that weight back in front, pass it across, long leaded pass. Open it out, turn the palm down. Here we go again, we've got an eight and seven, growing tall through the top of the spine. Keep the glutes wrapping, don't let the chest pitch back, take that circle back the other way. No higher than shoulder height. You finally get to bring that weight down. That's lovely, isn't it? Pass it back to the first hand. We're going to reach around and up. Pass the weight over the head to the other hand. Take it down here. Take it back the other way. Reach around and up and over. And bring it down. Saved by the music. Place that weight back where it came from. We are going to be grabbing instead our lovely cushion. And we're going to be coming down to the floor. So gently bring yourself down into a supine position on the floor. So bring that cushion with you. We're going to be coming all the way down. We're going to be starting just with a little ab prep. So I'm going to place my cushion underneath my knees. So I've got lovely length and legs just resting down into the cushion. And I'm thinking about my neutral pelvis, hip bones, pubic bone, coming to that same horizontal plane like a seesaw in balance. If that feels like it's very tense through the back, you prefer to have the knees bent at 
absolutely fine. Just let the cushion be. Otherwise, have a little relax and let the hip flexors relax. Take the hands behind the head. We'll take a couple of ab preps in this position. Elbows visible at the corners of the eyes. Breathe in, not the chin. Flex it up as you exhale. Inhale, come back down. So we're looking over the tops of the toes and down. Trying to keep both kneecaps facing directly to the sky. So try not to let them flop out. They're looking straight up. So inside and outside thighs working. Let's go for three more. Two to go. Last one. Release the hands from behind the head. If you can, rolling up through the spine. If not, grab a leg, roll yourself up with some momentum. Okay, otherwise, rolling up, curving through the spine to come up into a seated position. We're gonna take that cushion, pop it into your tummy. Now we're gonna take a rolling like a ball. You have several options here. If you have a mat, please feel free to lay out your mat, grab that now. But it's always nicer to have something comfy to roll on. Um, if you have no mat and you're on a hard floor and you don't really want to be rolling through the whole spine, you can take just a little curve away and coming back again. And if the cushion is just getting in the way of that, pop it down. Have a little roll away from the legs and curving back in. So we're just using our abdominals in that C curve position to close back in. If you have a mat or you have a softer floor, you're on carpet like me, and you're happy to roll through the spine, pop that cushion in. We're going to inhale as we roll back to our shoulder blades. And then exhale as we roll forward. Squeeze that cushion with your thighs as you go. You might end up with cushion in now. That happens to me too. Let's go for three more. Either of that half roll, that little roll, or the full one if it's appropriate to your floor. Please don't feel you need to roll on a half floor with a bare spine. It's never okay. Make it nice and soft instead. We are going to be releasing the cushion, coming down into a supine position. I'm just going to wiggle up a little bit so I've got some space to lengthen my legs. There we go. Reaching the cushion for the skull. Find your imprint position on the spine. There's a mini contraction between ribs and hips. Float one, two legs into their tabletop position. You could leave your head and shoulders down, or you could flex up on the top of the spine as we take our single leg stretch. It does not have to be at this speed. If you would rather slow it down, feel free to do so. We're thinking about reaching one leg away, one in towards the chest. So hip flexors drawing that leg towards you. Let's go four more on either side. Four and three. Glute squeezing underneath. Two and last one. Bring those legs back into tabletop. Release the head and shoulders down. Release the feet one at a time. Step to a nice comfy distance away and back into a neutral pelvis. Hip bones, pubic bone, level seesaw. I'm going to be curving up again through the top of the spine, but dropping the cushion a little bit. Take a breath in. We're going to exhale and rotate to one side. Inhale, draw it back to the centre. Exhale, rotate. Keep that flexion in the top of the body. If you're happy, you can pick up the speed. Rotate, return, rotate, return. Try and leave the pelvis nice and still. Two kneecaps looking to the sky. If it's not working for you, if it feels like everything's rolling away, try this one instead. So hopefully having something there to use the inside thighs helps to stabilize the pelvis. Hands behind the head is gonna help your neck flex and so you can really concentrate on those abdominal muscles doing that rotation for you. You've got two more to either side. Whichever version works for you. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, last one. Return, return the head and shoulders down to the floor. Bring that cushion away, we've got one more exercise. Bring yourself up into a seated position and then come around to a quadruped kneeling position. This one looks a little funny. It's gonna go between the legs. And I'm gonna tuck my toes under in my quadruped kneeling so I've got my lovely long neutral spine. Toes tucked, I'm gonna breathe in. I'm going to exhale and hover the legs. Keep that cushion between the thighs. Breathe in. Exhale, bring it down. Take that again. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, hover the knees. Inhale to step. And exhale, bring it down. I love this tempo. This works really well with my breath. If it doesn't work with your breath, absolutely fine. Take it at your own pace that follows your breathing. One more. Breathing in. Stabilize the shoulders. Keep it hovering there. Exhale down, you can release. Take that 
fashion way. If it's comfy to sit back into the heels for a shell stretch, tuck the cushion in, round over it. Have an enjoyful rest here. If it's less comfy to be in that position, I'm going to skip over that to this one. We're going to tuck it in under the knees. Or sort of in the knee joint, I suppose I'm saying, in the knee joint. Uh, and that might be the one. That might allow the knees to have a little bit more space so it's not pinching through the kneecap or around the muscles and around the knee. That might be the one for you. So the cushion is a great tool. You need to pop it in lots of different places. I'm a fan of this one here. Assisting the abdominal curve to allow the back to release. You could have both. Grab another cushion. Pop it in underneath. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. We're going to use our next exhale to gently unroll ourselves back into our seated position. We are going to come around to a comfortable sitting place. This might be with two legs extended and feet flexed. This might be with two bent knees. You could always pop that cushion back in between the legs just for a little bit of support in your parallel alignment. Or you could get rid of that cushion completely. Sit in a nice cross leg. You can sit on your cushion. Nothing wrong with it. Sitting in a nice para, uh, sorry, stacked up position in our neutral. Place the hands either side. Let's take a side bend. We're going to breathe in as we reach up. We're going to exhale as we find that side bend. We're going to inhale, take it back up to the ceiling. We're going to exhale, bring the arm down. Same on the other side. Reaching up and away. Enjoy that lateral flexion, that side bend. Really sit down. Let's take a two breath hand. So it's going to inhale up and over. It's going to exhale up and away. Once again, the other side. And away. Great stuff. Bring yourself back to your quadruped. Take one arm out to the sun. Feed it underneath. Keep this arm fairly straight. Just rotate towards it. Take it around and opening the chest around the side. Replace the hands, same on the other side. Breathe it in and away. Nice and square. Rotate towards your upper arm. Smoothly open, breathe in. Open your chest around the side. Return the hands to the floor. Tuck the toes. A downward doggish shape. So feet dropping to the floor, heels dropping towards the ground. If that means you need bent knees, that's fine. Long through the spine. Crease of the elbow, trying to face forwards. We're going to exhale, bend the knees more. Step the feet in underneath us. Release the head. Really important point, release the head. As you start to unroll, the back of the neck will be working so it's not jamming the chin down. We are lengthening to unroll. I'm in our standing position. Come back around, overrun. We'll do balances next week. Thank you very much for your time today and have a wonderful day.